In a previous video, I showed you how to create a V2 storage account. Now what I want to do is I want to create a file share and map that file share into my Windows Explorer on my Windows computer. And that way I can treat this like any other drive mapping. So I'm going to click on Storage Accounts under Azure Services. And if you don't see that, just type in Storage Accounts here under the Search Resources and you'll find it. Now I'm going to check the box for the V2 store or just click on the V2 store and it'll open up. Next thing I want to do is I want to go to where it says Storage Explorer. Now you can also download the Storage Explorer to your computer as well. This is just a little bit faster. I'm going to expand blob containers and you can see there's my V2 blob and I've already uploaded a file to it. So now I'm going to click on file shares and I'm going to make that into a file share. So I'm going to right click and choose create file share. And I'm just going to call this one V2 blob share. You can click in a quota if you want, or you can just choose the maximum, which is the 5,000 gigabytes or 5 terabytes. Now, uh, if you want to go up to 100 terabytes, you needed to enable the large file shares during the creation of this. So I've got the option for premium, transaction optimized, hot, or cool. I'm just going to choose cool because it's going to be cheaper, but you may choose to do one or the other. If you use files a lot, it could be more expensive to choose cool, so you may be better off choosing hot. But in my case, I'm just doing this as a test, so I'm going to go as cheap as possible and click Create. Now it's creating my blob storage file share. I can check on the progress up here, and it says it successfully created it. Now I'll create a new folder, and under New Directory, we'll give it the name of Test, and click OK. Next, I'm going to click on Copy URL. So this is the URL to the actual file itself. And I'm going to minimize that information. I'm going to open up a notepad and paste that information here. Next, what I want to do is I want to edit this URL so it'll work for us. So the double forward slash is going to be replaced with a single backslash. The next forward slash is going to be replaced with a backslash. And then I'm going to remove HTTPS colon slash slash and replace with a double backslash. So this is how your uh, link should look. So I'm just going to right click on that and choose copy. Now I'm going to open up my Windows Explorer, File Explorer. And under this PC, I'm going to go to computer at the top and choose to map a network drive. Now choose whatever drive letter you want. Any drive letter that's not in use is fine. And I'm going to right click and paste in that uh, UNC path that I edited earlier. Next I'll check the connect using different credentials. If you choose finish without doing that, you'll never get access into it. So I'll click finish and you should see this pop up with the username and password. Next I'm going to go back into Azure to grab a couple of pieces of information. I'm going to go to where it says Access Keys underneath Storage Explorer, and I'm going to choose the storage account name and click Copy to Clipboard. That's going to be my username. So I'll right click and choose Paste. Next, what I want to do is I want to go back into Azure, and I need to copy one of these keys. It doesn't matter really which key you copy. You've got multiple options here. So I'm going to choose Copy to Clipboard for the first key, and I'm going to right click and paste it in and I'll choose Remember My Credentials. Now before I hit OK, so you can see that this is a member of a domain, this computer is. So in order to get rid of the domain name, I need to go to the front of my username here and choose a backslash, so that gets rid of the domain. Now I'll click OK, and now it's connecting. And look at that, there's my Z drive. And if I double click on it, we can see there's no files in it, and that's because I mapped it all the way into the test folder. So what I can do now is I can go to the C drive, and if I want, I can just copy stuff into it. I'm just going to right-click and choose Copy to this particular file. Go back in and paste it. There's the file. Now this should show up in my Azure. So I'm back in my Azure Storage Explorer, File Shares, Blob Share, Test. And look at that, there is the AIP scanner commands that I put in earlier. So that is how you map a V2 storage into a Windows File Explorer using any Windows operating system and Microsoft Azure.